everyone, welcome to this video. We're going to be creating a black and white textures that we can use in our animations to further enhance our renders. And I'm going to be explaining the part two of this tutorial on my Patreon. It's going to be very exciting because we're doing this digital glitch chair reveal. If you're interested in that, there's a lot of stuff to download on my Patreon. 30 procedural pack, the grid mats with Padreza collab. There's also a new fabric pack. So there's new 30 fabric materials there. So you can take your chance, sign up for 20 and download all these. And then if you're not interested in my videos, then you can just leave next month, but you will be interested. Anyway, stop talking and let's have a look how to create beautiful animated textures that are tileable and straight away usable. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. This video is incredible value. It hit me a couple of days ago where I was like, why do I keep animating my textures in After Effects? Because I don't need to do that, right? We have the beautiful animating software as Cinema 4D and we can generate black and white textures really quickly. Let me show you what I mean. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna create just one polygon so that will be in Z plus and then we put cloner on it and then we make it just one in the Z space and then Y space, we can do four. And then we see the polygon is 100. So let's make it 20 by 20. So it's a small polygons. And then these size increments will be by 20 and 20. And this will create grid. We know it's a grid. In IPR, it doesn't look like a grid. So I'm just gonna create standard material and I'm gonna remove the base color reflection and I'm just gonna increase emission to two. Just drag and drop it onto our cloner. This will make it like pure white in pure black space. You see what I'm talking about? Now we can do stuff. So I'm just gonna increase this to boo, boo, boo. And then you see it's super expensive because we're dealing with only uh, small stuff. So I just do like count to 30, 30 to 30. And now I have a texture. And if I move my camera just slightly closer, I can even dial it just so it's going to be tiling. Can you believe it? We have pure white. Now look at if I this cloner and I'm going to press on random effector. This will create this crazy mishmash, but we're just going to reduce the position. We can do rotation and look what we're doing. We're starting to create textures and you see like the possibilities are crazy here. What if I do scale? So let's do uniform scale. We can maybe making it smaller, maybe minus one. We'll do absolute. Now we can use field. We can use linear field and animate it from here. So we have something like this to full wide. You see what I'm talking about? This is incredible value, how you can generate a lot of textures. I'm gonna be talking about on my Patreon. So this is a bit of a lure into video where in Patreon, I'm going to show you how to use these texture. So let's generate a couple now. This is literally from top of my head, like what we can do with this. But if you generate this kind of tileable textures, they are super useful. Only thing you need to do is literally go to that linear field, go to coordinates, go X on a frame zero, you've create position X keyframe and move here. If your animation needs to be five seconds, then 125 frames for me, 25 frames per second. And you move it all across with this linear field, press X. And now you can even go and animate, but this is essentially what I would do. We should maybe save our project, save it. And then my render settings, I'll change it to 4K. You can do JPEG, whatever fits you. So if you go to save option, you can change this to JPEG texture, just so it's not drastic EXR. I think JPEGs could be way better and literally go and render this out. I'll just show you how quickly this will render. 4K textures, generate this quickly. That are perfectly will fit on your objects in case they are uv but I just wanted to tell you this because this is incredible value to me. Why I did not thought of that, just generating textures like this. 4K textures, eight seconds on 3080, and you just kind of let it render. Then you collect your first texture and then you go and create more. So let's say I'm happy with this rendering. I have this first texture. So what I did afterwards, I had this data grid used on the chair and this chair is not there. And then as, as I go towards, it will digitally kind of appear. I've saw this many times. So this is my first version where I was kind of testing this concept. And now 
I really kind of dig it and know exactly how to do it. So if you want to do this, feel free to join my Patreon. We're going to be talking about this in January. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. And the second part is on my Patreon.